Hi. Now, unless you were living under a rock a couple of weeks back, you would have no doubt heard about the big to-do between SparkFun and Fluke. And, well, I'll briefly recap. If you were living under a rock, uh, SparkFun tried to import uh, 2,000 uh, of their own branded multimeters, one of these cheap little $15 uh, Chinese ones, you know, SparkFun branded, all that sort of stuff, tried to import 2,000 of them, and they got stopped at the customs coming into the country, and the customs said, uh, uh, you can't import those because Fluke have a trademark on the yellow holster for these things. Here's a photo of it, of the SparkFun meter. Yes, they actually banned these coming into the country because Fluke have a trademark. Not actually on yellow as such, which a lot of people incorrectly uh, said in all the comments and all the big you know, fury over all this sort of thing. No, Fluke actually have a what's called a trade dress, a trademark, so to speak. They're kind of different things, but essentially it's a trade dress issue. And yes, they do have a, uh, they do have protection about the look and feel of the multimeters, i.e. the yellow surround and the dark uh, grey or black meter itself. So no one's allowed to import those into the country. And SparkFun didn't know anything about that. As you, you know, who would know anything about that? Nobody. And they got caught and customs said, you can either ship them back to China, which was apparently too expensive. You, um, you, know, you may as well just you know, toss them. Or they said, well, we can toss them. Uh, we can destroy them, all 2,000 multimeters, at your cost. So SparkFun didn't know what to do, so they had a big blog post on there. And I was going to do a big ranty reply on it, of course. Um, but Fluke, well, they went to uh, crisis uh, mode. I'm sure, and they responded like within 48 hours or something like that, so I didn't get a chance to do my rant. Anyway, they responded superbly. Um, they, I think, won this little uh, fight here because they basically came back and said, yeah, we hear you, uh, Spark Fun, and, well, sorry, but because we're a big corporation, blah, 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 we have to protect our, our look and feel of our products and our company and our employees and the safety of the customers because, well, Fluke meters are designed to be safe and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, yes, we will uh, vigilantly protect our uh, trademark and the look and feel of these things. So, sorry, but to show you that we're a fantastic company and because uh, we support the hacker maker community and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, educational institutions and all that sort of stuff, which they do, they said we'll give you $30,000 plus dollars worth of Fluke multimeters for free to give away to, or well, to do whatever you want with, but they implied, well, to give them away to schools and stuff like that and spark fun accepted. And there was uh, happy rainbows all around and people dancing and joy in the streets and it was fantastic. So <laughs> excellent work, Fluke, for coming back. I mean, it was the obvious thing. It cost them next to nothing and they got fantastic PR out of it. But anyway, that's not the first time this issue has happened, actually, because this is a Tektronix multimeter. Check it out. Um, it's the Tektronix DMM870. And it's a, a fairly old model. Tektronix don't make these anymore. But it wasn't the first time this has happened. They, look, it has the horrible, oh, look, yellow surround. That looks like fluke yellow to me. No. So fluke weren't happy with that. So they changed it. <laughs> Tektronix actually changed exactly the same multimeter, but they changed it to, they changed the model number to the 916 and they changed it to a blue holster. So there you go. Um, it has actually happened before. This isn't the first time, but ironically, both companies are now owned by the Danaher Group, so everybody's happy. But, of course, me being me, I have to call out a bit of BS that I saw in Fluke's response here. And let me read it to you. It's important to know that once we've filed for and received trademark protection, US Customs has the responsibility to determine what to stop at the border or what to seize. In this case, we first learned of this issue from SparkFun's blog. And, well, yeah, okay, it, might, it certainly might have been the first issue, uh, first time they heard of the issue from SparkFun's blog, but... Just by getting a trademark, the customs people don't go into frenzy checking everything into the country. That is complete bullshit. It really is. Um, in this uh, case, Fluke actually went to, uh, well, previously, Fluke have gone to the International Trade Commission and gotten a trade, I think what's called a trade exclusion order, basically uh, banning or telling customs to look 
uh, for multimeters that come into the country and they actually named like 10 or 12 different multimeters and the pictures of them it's a huge big thing which I'll link in down below if you want to read all the boring details of it but yeah Fluke actually went to that much trouble to stop multimeters coming into the country but hey you know they as a big corporation they have every right to do that so you can't say that they're bad guys or anything like that in fact they aren't bad guys because check out what they sent me oh by the way um, I'll read what they said at the end. Uh, while we continue to enforce our trademark, we are taking this one-time action because we believe in the work of Spark Fund for supporting the maker and education communities. This is important to us. We have been supporters of the maker community for years through donation of over half a million dollars worth of tools and employees of, uh, to, to organizations like First Robotics. And that's brilliant. Fluke do do a lot of awesome stuff like that, but they're doing more, which I'm going to show you right now. They rush this to me. It is not in production yet, but I believe it is uh, very close. And what it is, is uh, to support the hacker maker community, it is a kit multimeter. Yes, assemble yourself. Well, you know, not everything. You're not going to do all the SMD parts, but apparently it is a kit multimeter. In this case, it's their 114 model, their uh, 110 series multimeter. So it's one of the real uh, low end. Uh, ones and I believe they might be doing other meters in the future but at the moment this is a uh, pre-production uh, version I guess you could call it they shipped it to me in a hurry and they've either done this incredibly quick or they might have had this sort of thing in the pipeline for a little bit of time anyway let's check it out a kit multimeter awesome okay let's see what we have inside this puppy comes in a very nice uh, genuine fluke uh, carry case, bit big for a uh, a double one uh, four because they're uh, quite small meters. Let's take a look and look at this. That is hilarious. Ta da! It's a fluke <laughs> ten series multimeter. It's with the, the empty um, shell, basically awesome. And uh, well, we've got some fluke probes and we've got a LCD kit. There we go. Look, Fluke, yeah, it's the 114. So that's the LCD for it. We've got a bag of bits. I don't know. Hey, that looks like the rotary switch. And uh, what do we got? What do we got? I don't know. Uh, component Components, I guess. I'm going to solder a couple. And the PCB itself. And a bag of, bag of screws. And looks like just the regular... Um, uh, manual and everything else. So this is the 114. I believe they will eventually have the 117, which is the one that includes the current, because uh, if you've seen these before, the only disadvantage of uh, these lower model 100 series is that they don't have current capabilities, volts, ohms uh, only. That's pretty much it. So that's a bit of a disadvantage. So, But still, um, the price that they're going to um, sell this kit uh, meter at is uh, I'm not sure of the exact final price, but I've heard that it is going to be really great value for money. Like you know, at like half or something the regular fluke uh, price. They're doing this for the hacker com maker community, and all my uh, I haven't heard, but no doubt they'll probably team up with Spark Fund to actually sell them through there as well as well as other uh, type distributors. So well, let's check it out. So that is hilarious. I've never seen anything like that before. That is just great. And if we get the, uh, we have, uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's just a regular 114, uh, which you've probably seen in uh, other reviews. I haven't, I, I don't know, I think I reviewed a 117, didn't I? Hello, how do you, oh, geez, that, oh, there we go. I hope it didn't break it. Anyway, um, there you go. Oh, batteries installed. There we go. It's still got the battery installed and it's just like the blank case. Fantastic. We'll check out the uh, PCB. Let's have a look. Yep, it is. Ta-da. The Fluke 117 PCB. Check it out. There it is. And most of it is comes uh, pre um uh, soldered, of course, because, you know, you can't have people doing little uh, 0603 resistors. It's not very beginner uh, friendly or anything like that. It looks like I can see the mobs and uh, stuff missing, but everything else, the surface mount uh, battery ones, because their uh, battery contacts are installed, the uh, sockets um, for these. Curiously, 
uh, they actually um, solder all three of these on, even though the uh, 114 doesn't have the current uh, input. They just, it's the same process, comes off the same line, they just leave various parts off. Like in this case, they've left the uh, fuse and stuff off, and it looks like they've left all the input circuitry, the MOVs and uh, PTCs and uh, stuff like that have been left off. But apart from that, it looks fully uh, operational. So we'll have to assemble the switch and everything, and let's look at the other bags. And the LCD, let's check it out. Hello, that is the, there it is, Fluke 114 True RMS Multimeter, fantastic. Um, of course the labeling is on the inside, it's not on the uh, screen like that. It's always on the inside, and that, that's not part of the LCD. Oh, that's the, um, that's the shield. That's the shield for the board, so that goes over there somehow like that, which uh, I'll figure out when I put this together. By the way, I did not get instructions uh, for this thing. They have not uh, completed those yet, so they'll have, you know, really beginner-style uh, instructions. I'm sure they'll go to town on that sort of thing, but uh, the Zebra uh, strip is uh, pre-installed in there, and that's ready to go. And then we've got some miss, I guess, miscellaneous stuff. This one actually holds the switch, and other stuff. There we go. There's our uh, um, our rubber uh, buttons, and there's there's the switch mechanism. There we go. There's the O-ring. Um, that I think yeah goes in there somehow. What is it? Something like that, and it assembles yeah somehow like that. And there's a plate which goes in the chassis. Um, yeah, I'll figure it all out. And along with all that, we have our components. Let's uh, check. Don't want to lose any. Don't lose any. No. 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 Oh, there we go. We've got a couple of MOVs. A um, couple of uh, PTCs, they would be. We've got ourselves the uh, buzzer. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the buzzer. That sits up. Yeah, that sits up there somewhere. That's got to be soldered into there. And, well, that's it. Input 1K input protection resistor. That's it. So, really easy job to uh, assemble this thing um, into a kit. That's all there is to it pretty much so yeah they're pretty much doing it as a token thing i think obviously you know you're not learning a huge amount by soldering some components on here but if you can get a cheap genuine fluke multimeter with genuine fluke yellow look at that means everything um you can go legit by getting this kit then uh, yeah and they're selling it they're going to be selling it at a very attractive price hey why not brilliant And there we go, our board is assembled, and all we've got to do is put the uh, range uh, switch onto here, onto the back here, so that uh, you should need it in the off position like that. Anyway, this is not, though, come with detailed assembly instructions. I think I've figured it out. It goes in the uh, S1, it goes into the position like that, and uh, yeah, we can um, just assemble, just mechanically assemble all the uh, stuff together, the LCD assembly that will just uh, go on here like this and goes in and it just clips into place like that that's easy and uh, the pressure on there just keeps the zebra strip on and if like me you thought this is a pretty dumb idea it, it does sound like it on the surface you know the safety and all that uh, sort of stuff that's why you buy a proper fluke but really it's just the input protection devices which you can't get around back to front very clear instructions all that sort of stuff and really it comes fully calibrated out of the factory uh, so I'm told they've done you know the bed of nails uh, test on it and the remote uh, calibration all that sort of stuff so it should be ready to go so probably not as dumb as you think really there's the switch mechanism and the o-ring that goes in there like that and snaps into place and you've got to put uh, this on the right way as well because it's got the stop on there so that's pretty obvious but yeah this all goes together um, you know incredibly easy I mean you know five or ten minutes uh, work or or something like that it's you know it's not much at all so there you go that just pushes on latches into place like that this cover just goes over there like that you make sure you line that up with the shaft up there with that and 
you put it over the top and push it in and Bob's your uncle. And then all you're left with is a couple of screws to uh, put in and the two screws for the final case. And that's it. Too easy. All right, fully assembled. Let's give this thing a burl and see if she works. Fingers crossed. F1, uh, yes, 114. No worries. All the segments. So we got the uh, zebra strip and everything in place. No problems whatsoever. And I'll tell you what, I'm not a fan of these ridiculous probe covers they've got on these things. Hopeless. Bugger those off. And uh, let's try the continuity buzzer. Yay! Yep. Good as a flute continuity buzzer always is. And of course you'd expect it to be bang on on all the ranges because it has been factory calibrated and just assembling the thing isn't going to cause an issue whatsoever. So, awesome. Just like I bought one. And on the volts, of course, you'd expect nothing less from a fluke. There you go. Bang on. So it was a very clever marketing ploy by Fluke, and kind of obvious if you're in the marketing playbook like that to respond in this way, but it is remarkable how they got it together so quick, especially this uh, pre-release, or yeah, beta I guess you could call it, uh, kit version of a Fluke multimeter. Hopefully others will follow, and this will be on the shelves soon as a kit version. Maybe even at SparkFun, who knows? That'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's just... It's kind of pointless, really. I don't know why they don't just drop the value of the real meter, but hey, you know, anything that gets a high-quality meter in people's hands, I'm all for. So there you go. If you are like this and you want to put your name down for one, basically all you've got to do is um, send uh, Fluke a uh, Twitter at uh, Fluke Corp, uh, send them a tweet, sorry, and uh, they will automatically uh, put you in the list to get you to announce or uh, contact them via their uh, Facebook page as well and ask for them because they are going to be a very good price. They might even be for a limited time. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure we'll find out more details in the coming days. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and yeah, awesome fluke. It's a kit multimeter. Who would have thought? Awesome. I actually like it, especially if you can sell it at a really good price to those hackers and makers that, uh, and you know, hobbyists and uh, schools that you like so much. Everyone can have the genuine fluke yellow, except no substitute. Awesome. Catch you next time.